So you want to join the cybersecurity field, but you have no idea what path to follow. Do you become a penetration tester, a government risk compliance professional, a SOC analyst, or a cybersecurity engineer? The choices are daunting. Have no fear. In this video, I'm going to give you some strategies to help you make a selection. Hi, my name is Kaiser Clark. I have been in the cybersecurity field for over six years now, and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. And on this channel, I help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. The first thing I want to do is I want to set you at ease. So there are a lot of different positions within the cybersecurity field. However, no selection is a permanent selection. So if you decide to become a SOC analyst and you are halfway down the path to becoming a SOC analyst, there's nothing stopping you from switching lanes and going down the penetration testing career path. Furthermore, if you start a career as a cybersecurity engineer and you do that for two, three, four, five years, there's nothing stopping you from switching lanes again and becoming a coverage risk compliance professional. The cybersecurity industry has a lot of overlap between the foundational knowledge and while you're learning one thing, a lot of that information applies to other positions. And because of that, there is no wrong answers. All the foundational knowledge applies to all the positions. So when you're first starting out, don't really even worry about what position you want to do because you have to start at the basics anyways, and the basic applies to everything. So when you're studying in those basic foundational courses, you're going to figure out what your likes are and what your dislikes are. And then you can start thinking about what you want to do, you know, as you get into the field. So I wouldn't even worry about making a selection just yet if you haven't already. So don't get caught up in having analysis paralysis and not making a selection. The biggest mistake here is not getting started. The best thing you can do, even if you have no idea what career path you want to go down exactly, as long as you know you want to go down a cybersecurity pathway, as long as you're starting and you get like an entry level certification and you start doing entry level cybersecurity courses, that information is going to apply to any position that you choose later down the road. So the biggest mistake you can make is overthinking this and not getting started. So I highly recommend getting started as soon as you possibly can. Furthermore, even if you decide that cybersecurity isn't for you, you can still go into many other tech jobs. Maybe you want to be a programmer or you want to be a cloud engineer, or network engineer, help desk, whatever you want to do. If you start going down the cybersecurity pathway, it opens up a lot of doors for tons of other tech jobs. So there is always room to change your mind later. So don't get caught up in your decision. With that out of the way, Let's go ahead and dive into all the strategies that I recommend to help you choose a cybersecurity path right for you. In no particular order, number one on the list, I would say try hack me. Go down the try hack me path. There's a penetration tester path. There's a SOC analyst path. There's a cybersecurity engineer path. If you go down all those paths, you're going to figure out what you like and what you don't like. I would say pretty quickly as you're going down the paths. The next strategy I would say interview people in the field. People in the cybersecurity field, they love talking about cybersecurity because there's not a lot of cybersecurity folks out there. And when people reach out to us, we like to talk about cybersecurity. And I have reached out to tons of people on LinkedIn, and it's actually not that difficult to get a conversation out of people, believe it or not. So I would have a conversation with as many people as you can in different areas in cybersecurity. Maybe talk to a pen tester, maybe talk to a SOC analyst, cybersecurity engineer, et cetera, et cetera, and just figure out what they do day to day and see um, what the pros and cons are to all these different positions and then kind of formulate your own opinion from there. And if you have no idea who to contact or you don't know where to turn to or you're just nervous to reach out to people, I understand all of that. Have no fear. I do have a podcast that is dedicated to this type of thing. So if you don't know, I have a podcast called The Hacker's Cash. And in The Hacker's Cash, every single week I interview a professional in the field and I ask them what do they do day to day, how they get in the field, what they do in the past, what are they doing now? And overall, it's a conversation about what they're doing day to day. And if you want to learn more about the field, I highly recommend checking out the Hackers Cash podcast. Next on my list is check out my live stream. So every Thursday night and Sunday night, I do a live stream where I'm hacking boxes on Hack the Box. And if you're interested in ethical hacking and penetration testing, that is a live view of what hacking is actually like and what it actually is. And you get to talk to me simultaneously. You can ask whatever questions you want in the chat. So I highly recommend coming to my live streams, see what I'm doing, ask me whatever questions you want. I am available for you during those live streams and I highly encourage you to check out those live streams. And if you can't make the live streams, don't worry, you can watch the past broadcasts here on my YouTube channel. 
Next on my list is go to cybersecurity conferences. So most cities have a B-sides and there's also some bigger conferences. There's some smaller meetups. Just go to whatever conference you can and just meet people in the field and just talk to them. Because once again, people like to talk about cybersecurity and that's why people go to those conferences to network with other people. And they are more than willing to help you, especially beginners. So that's what's one thing that's great about this field is that we really do like helping beginners to get in this field because it's such a great and fun field for us. So a lot of people are more than willing to help you out. So go to conferences if you can afford it. A lot of people speak highly of them. I haven't been to a whole lot of conferences personally. I've only been to one. However, when I was at that one conference, I did um, meet a lot of people and I got a lot of contacts and it was a good time overall and I really enjoyed it. So if you are able to travel to a conference and you're able to afford it, highly recommend going to conferences. It's uh, one of the major things people recommend out in this field. And the last thing on my list is cybersecurity certifications. So if you don't know, I am a huge fan of cybersecurity certifications. I actually have 13 of them myself. And quite frankly, they have been the number one thing that has impacted my career so far. So I highly recommend going after certifications. And while you're going after those entry level certifications, especially the ones that cover a wide range of topics, you're going to understand what you like, and what you don't like, and you're going to get kind of an overview of the whole cybersecurity landscape. And you're going to understand, you know, what the different positions are doing within the field. So if you don't know what you want to get into just yet, just starting a certification, especially the entry level ones, is really going to help you make a selection down the road. And if you followed all the strategies in this video and you still can't decide, I would default to cybersecurity analyst or a SOC analyst just because it is probably the position that has the most openings right now and I don't see that changing anytime soon. I do think that the SOC analyst route slash cybersecurity analyst route is probably the easiest way to break in the field right now. And when I say it's the easiest way to break in the field right now, it's not easy. So any position in cybersecurity right now is actually pretty difficult to get into. However, out of all the cybersecurity positions that are available to you, I do think that the SOC analyst position is probably the most available and the most easily accessible option out of the list of options that you have. And if you do get into the SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst position, it's going to open up a lot of other doors for you. So like I said earlier in this video, if you get into a position, you're not locked in that position. You can easily switch to a pen tester later on or a government compliance role later on, or even go into a different tech role altogether. So if you can't decide, the SOC analyst choice is not a bad choice. And if you're wondering how I decided to become a penetration tester, it really boiled down to the fact that I wanted to get into ethical hacking because ethical hacker sounded like a cool, mysterious, and sexy title to have. And pen tester is just the professional way to say, hey, I'm an ethical hacker. That, that was really, it. it was just a cool factor. It was the primary driving force. And then the secondary reason why I wanted to become a penetration tester was because I thought it would be incredibly challenging and incredibly difficult but very rewarding at the same time and i was absolutely right about that it takes thousands of hours of training to become a pen tester and once you become a pen tester it is very rewarding and i enjoy my job and i love it every single day i get out there and i get to do some pen tests and write reports and i can actually help secure clients and it really brings a lot of fulfillment a lot of joy into my life and I'm really glad I chose this career path. And that's all the strategies I have for you in this video. You got value out of it. Do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. And speaking of career paths, if you want to learn more about my career path and how I went from sysadmin to pen tester, you have to check out my video right here.